Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Mishmas. It is actually a little bit later in the morning, a little bit later than I usually start vlogging, I should say. I'm already past the coffee stage. I've moved into the seltzer stage. I think I've talked about the seltzer before. Nixie, the lime ginger flavor. It tastes like, not a mojito. What is it that's just like vodka and lime juice? Oh my God, what is that drink called? I used to drink it all the time. Anyway, tastes like that because it literally just tastes like lime juice. If I was still a drinker, I would totally add vodka to this. Anyway, I digress. I just went to the UPS store. I picked up some packages. I started to open up this very large, heavy box and I stopped because I started to see what it was and I was like, I have to vlog this because this looks incredible. So this box is large. <laughs> it's just very large. It's quite heavy. And I was really not sure where it was coming from or who it was from. And then I like lifted off some of this bubble wrap and could see the name on here. What? It is like a huge wooden crate. I, I am like, I'm, I'm like beside myself. I'm like stuttering. I don't even know what to say. So let me get this out of the box. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. And then there was a little box underneath. It's like they heard my calling. I think it was, yeah, it was just yesterday. I was getting ready to go out and I was talking about how dry my skin is and I have been using La Mer and of course I am running low. Wow, what's in here? Tilt you guys down so you can see what I'm doing here. <gasps> wow. Oh my God, there's another wooden box in here. To celebrate the holiday season, we would like to treat you and a friend or a loved one to the ultimate La Mer skincare experience. In the spirit of giving, we've included a set of our favorite products for you to enjoy, along with a box gift to pay it forward. Oh my God. So that's what this is. Okay, so we've got, God, I'm like, whew, this is incredible. So we've got the treatment lotion. We have got the renewal oil. We've got the eye concentrate. Oh. M G the moisturizing cream, of course, that's like the OG, the hydrating infused emulsion. You guys, I am like speechless. The concentrate. And then I think, I wonder if this is um, just a box for gifting. This may be empty. Oh, this is so nice. So they actually give you like some cards and then some ribbon, the two from, and then, uh, oh, Simone LeBlanc. What's this? Oh my gosh. It's like a, it's a pen. It's not like a pen, it is a pen. Wow, wait, I can't, <laughs> I can't get it out. Oh, there we go. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, that's so, wow, that is so, so nice. This is like a really, really thoughtful holiday box. I guess all of the gifting products are in here. Wow, 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 wow. All right, well, this is totally impromptu, but I'm gonna do a giveaway. So I'll leave the instructions on how to enter down below. It will be pretty similar to what I've done uh, in the past. Uh, it involves like Instagram. I may have you sign up for my newsletter on my blog, uh, but I'll put everything down below in my description box. And I'm not even gonna put giveaway in the title of this video because what I'm hoping to avoid are those spammers, which is why I have not been doing giveaways, but you get those spammers who ask you to contact them. They pretend they're me. They ask you to contact them and then they ask you to like send, send me money for like shipping. Or I don't know. Basically they're just trying to scam you out of money. Um, so definitely ignore those messages. I have a blue check mark next to my name. Uh, you'll, you'll know if I'm replying to you, like I, I would never ask you to just, to like reach out and do any of those things. So anyway, um, yeah, yeah, definitely check down below for giveaway information. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Lamera. This is so sweet and so, yeah, just so thoughtful and so sweet. I thought I would do something a little bit different for today's Mishmas vlog. So I'm gonna talk about some favorites. Um, but I'm going to do it in a little bit of a different style. Obviously, I'm going to be doing it kind of more vlog style. And I'm going to be talking about recent favorites. 
and it's really going to encompass a lot of different things. There's definitely gonna be some beauty products in there, of course. Um, but because I spent the first two weeks of uh, November in Morocco, and then since I've been back, it's just been kind of like this craziness of getting mishmas together and uh, keeping up with like the Black Friday sales, all that stuff, as I've talked about already. Um, I figured, yeah, let me just talk about uh, like recent favorites and not necessarily like just beauty favorites. I am planning on doing like kind of a 2022 roundup of my all time favorite like luxury uh, beauty, uh, but I'm gonna do that a little bit later on, maybe like next week or something. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, but today, like I said, because it's like, it hasn't been like a very like makeup focused month for me. So I figured let me just do like lifestyle favorites and other things that of course include some beauty in there. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, when I go upstairs and shower and everything, I can show you some things upstairs that I wanted to show you and just kind of like talk about some things that I've already mentioned, but I just kind of like wanna reiterate um, that they are indeed like favorites because I know uh, sometimes I don't, you know, I don't want to be repetitive and sometimes I'll mention that. I'm like, I think I maybe mentioned this in last month's favorites. And so many of you always say like, no, like if you talk about something month after month then I really know it's like actually one of your favorites. <laughs> like, okay, that's today's plan. So I'll be back uh, after I am showered. Hello, hello, back with day 10 of the advent calendar, starting with Space and K. Here is day 10. And, oh, here we go. Tis the season for hydration. Fa la 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 la. Ooh, two things in here. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh. Dr. Barbara Sturm's Hyaluronic Serum. This is my all time favorite hyaluronic product. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. This is a 10 mil, which is a really good size. And then we have the Biosense Squalane Vitamin C Rose Oil. Uh, facial oil to visibly brighten and firm. Ooh, I love when there's two in one day. That is exceptionally generous. Thank you, Space NK. Okay, and Joe Malone, day 10. We have to go down to the drawer. That's over here. This is the Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. It's dark, but um, like slightly gourmand. Almost like there's a little bit of vanilla in there. Ooh, that's really nice. And then finally we have Diptyque. Day number 10. Let's see. Ah, it's over here. What have we got? Oh, we have Christmas ornaments. I really, I really like these ornaments. They're pretty thin because what you do is you actually twist them and they open up. So let's see if these are all the same design. Oh, they are. They are all the same. Okay. Let's see. Let me unfurl these. And then there are some instructions. I believe these are just like the ones that I got last year. So I have to hold the top and then turn the, like the big piece in the middle towards me. And then it should like splay all of the other pieces out. So let's try this together. So pretty. All right, I'll do the others uh, when I have some more free time. All right, so this is what we have for day 10. We've got the Hyaluronic Serum from Dr. Barbara Sturm. We have um, an oil from Biosense. We have the Dark Amber and Ginger Leaf from Jo Malone and these ornaments from Diptyque. Good day. I love these ornaments, they're so pretty. I just came downstairs to put on some makeup and a box from Sephora came. <laughs> I took advantage of that get, uh, get gifting, get giving, I think get gifting, 20% uh, off code. It's a one-time use code. So I was really trying to like wait and see what I really needed, what I needed to get. So I got some like, actually I don't really remember what I got. This box is pretty heavy. I do know I got some more Jo Malone diffusers because the diffuser that I got uh, in Lime Basil Mandarin during the VIB sale, I actually gave it to my friend Matthew who was here because he loves diffusers and he just, 
He loves the Joe Malone ones, but he refuses to spoil himself. So I decided to spoil him. So I gave him that one. So I got another lime basil mandarin. And then, because my uh, velvet rose one, the one that has really, it's literally, it'll be a year in like probably a couple days. Um, that is just now, like, I can't really smell it outside of the bathroom. So I went ahead and got the English Pear and Freesia diffuser because this scent actually does remind me of the holidays. Uh, the Lime Basil Mandarin, I'm gonna wait and put that out like in the spring, summertime. So I got those two things. And then I had to re-up on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. That's what I use to sometimes like brush down flyaways. It's like the easiest thing to do because that mascara wand just kind of grabs onto those hairs and you never end up putting like too much gel down which I end up doing sometimes if I just use like hair gel on my fingers and I do that. Sometimes I'll just end up with like a clump. Anyway, this is the easiest by far. I picked up that Gucci Westman set, the I Love You edition. It has what I believe, um, oh look how beautifully packaged this is. It's like in its own little like shipping box because I know it also comes yeah, in this gift box. Look at that. Wow, this is gonna make a beautiful gift. You guys are needing some last minute gift ideas, 20% off. I think that's going on until the 11th. Hopefully I get this up before then. Um, but let's see. So this one has uh, some iPods, which I love, and eyeliner, and eye pencil, I should say, which is new to Westman Atelier, right? She doesn't have any as part of her line right now. And then the mascara, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It's okay, but it's very, um, volumizing. It's not like a separating, lengthening, uh, like thin kind of mascara. It's pretty, like it's going to give you some heft to your lashes and that doesn't necessarily suit my lashes or my eyes. So anyway, um, it's a good mascara if you like that though, but I'm excited for these iPods. You guys know how much I love her iPods and I believe these are new shades. Let's see. This one is mink. Yes, these are new. <gasps> We are putting this right on. Oh, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oof, that's beautiful. And then this one that comes in this glittery case, this one is called, wow, that's hard to read, Smudge. Ooh, nice chocolatey brown. I think this is like a matte, yeah. A nice chocolatey brown. Wow, this is like, calling my name. And then this one is called Fet. Ooh, so pretty. This is like a very warm gold. And these um, shadows are a little bit different from her other ones. These are not quite as putty-like. These are more, almost like a press shadow. So the formula is a little bit different. And if you didn't like the putty um, formula, you'll probably like these, because this is more of like a typical kind of like powder. Uh, shadow and then oh it says lift tray socks underneath wait what let's that's what it says right there and oh okay i thought she meant like sock socks i was like that's odd no the socks for the actual products so this i believe is for the mascara and this one is for the ipods let's go put on some makeup um but i just wanted to point out this new like ring light makeup mirror that I've been using here. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, like in my sit down videos, if you've noticed like my lighting is a little bit uh, more even. So let me just show you. So I'm sitting down in front of my filming. And so what I've only used in the past is this light right up here, which casts the most incredible even light. I've talked about my setup before, so I won't bore you. My filming camera is there. And then I added this light and it just like brightens up down here um, because when I just use that larger light, it would cast a shadow. Anyway, I just love, love, love not only the light that it gives me when I'm filming, which doesn't really um, like pertain to you guys, but it's just such a good mirror and light. It's so even and it has these adjustments. It's like, it's a very simple mirror, but it has all the adjustments that you need so you can make it brighter i don't want to blind you but that's that's the brightest um and then it just goes down so it just sort of like cycles through and i'm just gonna hit that one more time and then you can make it cool medium or warm like super simple you don't have to sit there and figure out like kelvin numbers or anything weird it's such a great size it comes with this stand i think there's like options on the website for 
an actual like floor stand. Um, and then this is the brand Ilios. And I actually heard about this brand from, I think it was Tati. I was watching one of her videos. I went to this site and of course, you know, they had some uh, celebrity endorsements, but I just really liked the description of it because what you can also do, which is great if you do want to film some content. So this whole mirror spins around so you can use like the side that has like magnification and then you can actually pop out this whole mirror by pressing this down. It kind of like uh, loosens everything up and then you can slide this out. And in the back here, this arm slides down. It just like swivels down, it's attached to the back. And then there's like this iPhone holder and you can put that right here on this swivel arm. It's just so like cool. It just has everything that you need. It plugs in. There is also uh, like a USB charger in the back if you want to charge your phone at the same time. It's just a really handy mirror. You can also, by the way, if you want to do a landscape, you can do that as well. Um, so I haven't really attached my iPhone to this um, and done anything like that, but I just love, love, love the functionality of the mirror and the light and how easy it is to like just snap back into place and like flip this around if I need to magnify stuff. If I come down here to film and I see like a straight eyebrow hair, it's like great to have this magnifying mirror, but I generally just use like the straight up, you know, normal magnification. But yeah, I love this mirror so much. I'm thinking about getting another one and putting it out in um, like the outer part of my office for when I wanna film, you know, with like using some natural light. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really love this mirror and it's, sturdy it's really really sturdy so i do love that about it um i do have a 20 percent off coupon code because i contacted the company ilios and i just was like i have to tell you guys i'm like your mirror is amazing and uh i think they recognize my handle anyway we went back and forth and they offered me a coupon code for you guys so 20 percent off uh, the mirror i will flash the coupon code up here if you're interested i'll leave it of course down below in my description box but I am really, really pleased with this mirror. And I purchased this mirror myself. I, I just went online and purchased it. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that particular favorite of mine because yeah, I've just been really, really loving it. And it sits actually like perfectly right underneath my filming camera. Yeah, it's just like worked out so well. So super happy with that. Uh, but anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some makeup. I can probably mention these as a favorite. I. I'm loving these by Terry uh, Brightening CC Serums. Most of my makeup favorites are pretty much gonna be the same as October, my October favorites. And I think these were my October favorites, but anyway, I continue to love it. Actually, you know what was in my favorites? This, and I mixed it with my Clay de Peau, um, the foundation, yeah. Uh, now I'm, now it's coming back to me. So that was my favorites. But lately, I've just been using just this, which really gives me quite a bronze, or this together if I want, you know, the same glow as the CC Serum, but maybe not quite as bronzy as this. I'm gonna do one pump of this and two pumps of this. Yeah, I think one to two, one of the darker color, two of the uh, lighter color is really nice. If I just want like a little, like a little bit of a bronziness, not too much. I was using <laughs> I was using just the Sienna Light, which I think of course in the summertime may be great, but now I'm definitely losing my color from uh, Morocco. And yeah, it was like a little bit too much of a difference between like my face and my neck. So yeah, two to one is a good ratio. And then I use this totally incorrectly when I did like a new luxury, I think it was day three of Mishmas, possibly. Anyway, this is the new Sicily Stilo Correct and I used it under my eyes and this is not meant to be used under your eyes. It is meant to be used like on your face. So I have the shade 00, which for my face may be a little bit too light. Under my eyes, I think it's actually the right shade. So anyway, it's not meant to be used under your eyes, just FYI. So I'm just gonna use this on some of my spots here and see how this shade is. I think it's a little bit light. I may have to get a deeper shade. I'm just using this brush, which I think is actually helpful. There's like just a teeny tiny bit of that by Terry Brightening CC Serum left, and I think it is like helping this blend in, at least color-wise. Yeah, it definitely softened up the appearance there. I mean, these are really dark. I think you would need like stage makeup <laughs> to actually cover that up. 
but that looks pretty good. Let's do some of these over here. Maybe I'll try my fingers this time. It's nice. It's very natural. It's very natural. So I would say this has like a light medium kind of coverage because I'm just sort of like tapping it out with my fingers and I can still see my spots there, but it definitely softens the appearance. Yeah, it softened those, those big guys up. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad I'm finally using that correctly. Um, they did also send over the Stilo Lumiere. And if you guys watched me, I don't know, maybe like three years ago, I had purchased this and I was just dead set on finishing this pen up. So I really, really like <laughs> this Stilo Lumiere. Um, I have it in shade number one, and this is actually really nice underneath the eyes. And this is great too, because my under eyes have been feeling so dry. And this is so, so like light and moisturizing. It's really, it's really nice. It's really nice if your under eyes are feeling parched. This does such a nice job brightening my under eyes. You know, Sisley has that like concealer, the one that comes in a little tube with the silver tip. Um, that one, I, I say for like special occasions when I'm really trying to like, like have like a really full on, full coverage kind of look. But for the everyday, I really like this Stila Lumiere. It's light has some brightening in it. It's not, uh, it's not like super glowy because I don't like a super glowy under eye. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like that one. I also took out the Lotus Collection Chantecaille, the blush, because I didn't use the blush. I used the NARS cheek palette, uh, the Rising Star cheek palette when I did uh, the trying new makeup video. So I set this one aside, but I really, really want to use this. It's one of those like cream to powder ones. So I'm going to use this uh, BK Beauty 113 brush. Ooh, that's pretty. Well, you know what this reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of that Lancome blush that I've been going on and on about. It has the same kind of like cool uh, sheen to it. I do think the Lancome blush has a little bit more pigment to it, probably because it's just a straight up powder where this is kind of like a cream to powder. Very pretty though. I did also bring over the Lotus Collection um, uh, Lotus Radiance Highlighter, but I don't think I need it. This, <laughs> this blush is really giving me all the highlight that I need. So I think I'm gonna skip that. I am going to, I think I have a little bit more of this Dior, Dior Show Onset Brow Gel that I really, really enjoyed, but it was just getting kind of low. And then, I don't know, do you guys do that? I feel like when my beauty products get low, not done, but low, I just kind of stop using them and I never get to the point where they're totally done. So stupid. So anyway, let me uh, try and finish this guy up. All right, now for the new iPods. You know I'm going in with mink. This, this is just such a me color. Um, and I'm gonna use this Westman Atelier eyeshadow brush. This I purchased from, I don't know, Sephora or something so long ago because it reminded me of their Baby Blender brush, which I really love using in the iPods. Um, but Gucci Westman uses this with her iPods and it's like a little bit looser at the top. It's not quite as dense all over like that dome. So let's try it. This is really gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? That would actually make like a nice topper. If you wanted to go in with like the chocolate brown color and do something really smoky and then just like top it off with this, that would be really nice if you want to do something dramatic. I am just going to be running errands and hanging around the house today. So <laughs> uh, in editing, so I'm just going to not do anything too dramatic and just stick to this mink color. Maybe I'll use that chocolate brown color to um, just give me a little bit more dimension, but Oh, this is such a pretty one and done shade. Gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so smudge. And then what was this last one? Oh, this is the really gold one. I'm not going to use that one today. Let me use this smudge color just to use like along my lash line and outer corner and stuff. I'm going to use this BK Beauty 209 brush. Can I just say, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add this into my recent faves. The more I use BK Beauty brushes, the more I love them. I've always loved them. I thought they've always been really, really great. I fell in love with the 101 brush really early on. But yeah, I mean, they've come out with uh, more brushes. And yeah, I just find that like, I'm really reaching for them more often. I make, these are like the brushes that I make sure are clean. And all of the Angie Hot and Flashy brushes, they're just, yeah, they're so good. They're just really, really good. 
So let me add the BK Beauty brushes as a whole to um, my favorites here. If I had to choose, like I said, the 101 foundation brush and also the Angie Hot and Flashy A506 brush. This is like a mini version of that. And then um, they came out with like a size kind of in between with the same shape, which is 109. So here's 109, which is new, the 506, which is the smallest, and these are all versions of their amazing 101 brush. Yeah, just love them, love them so much. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes, and I'm gonna throw on the Chantecaille Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara. I love this one, such a great everyday mascara. And then for lips, I've gone back to my Rouge Coco Flash from Chanel in the color Boy. I, I don't remember, but it may have shown up in a very recent favorites video, like for October or September. Um, yeah, I, I just love it. Great everyday nude color. All right, makeup is done for today. So I just got a delivery of uh, another Black Friday sale thing that I purchased. I can't believe how piecemeal these are coming. They're really coming like it, very, very spread out. I mean, I guess shipping, I'm sure, was incredibly busy during that weekend, so I'm not that surprised. But I took advantage of the Saks Fifth Avenue, I don't know what they call it, friends and family, Black Friday, I don't know what they called it, but I think it was like 15% off beauty. So I decided to pick up the new Maison Francis Kirkjens uh, ED, EDP. It's 724, I mean, that's what it's called, 724. And I mean, I'm such a big fan of Maison Francis Kirkjen that I could not pass this up. So I got the smallest size, I believe. I mean, aside from like any travel size ones, but this one, what's the size on this? This one is, doesn't say anywhere the size. That's so weird, it's usually, <laughs> it's usually right on the box. Anyway, it is this size. It's not the square one, which is, which is bigger, or the big rectangle one, which is even bigger. This smells very similar to Aqua Universalis, which I love. That's probably, is that my all-time favorite fragrance? That could be my all-time favorite fragrance. So, so I like it, I like this a lot but it really smells just like it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check out the notes because, wow, how interesting. Have you guys purchased this? Will you please, please chime in down below if you purchased this and if you're also familiar with the Aqua Universalis, is this like pretty much like the same to you? I did also order two candles from Kirkjen. The palm one, the one that's in the red candle, it kind of smells like uh, apples. And then the orange one, which is like one of my all-time favorite candles. It is the Pan um, Epices. I think it's the spice, the spice bread. So I got those two candles and I, well, first of all, I love candles as you guys know, but I love holiday candles. Um, so I guess they're coming in a different box, but I'm so excited for this, the orange uh, one, the spice bread one. I love, love, love that scent. I got it for the first time last year and it just smells like you're baking like deliciously spiced like shortbread in the oven. Oh my God, it's intoxicating. And if you guys are into candles, I actually just put up a blog post this morning about my favorite holiday candles. And I just narrowed it down to five. I could have gone on and on as you guys know, but I just narrowed it down to five like limited edition candles specifically created and like released during the holiday season. This one obviously made the list, but yeah, if you're interested, check that out. I will link to that uh, post down below in my description box, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat lunch and I will be back to continue on my like favorites journey. Ooh, let's swap out this diffuser. Yeah, I think, I think the timing is actually quite perfect because this one that I've been showing you guys is finally, yeah, I can smell it like up close, but it has finally, finally expired. I almost said died. I'm like, that's so dramatic. It finally expired a year later. So let's set up this English pear and freesia one that I just got. Beautiful. I love the um, black label that they have for the holidays. Okay, I had to bring you upstairs because I do have a bunch of skincare 
um, and hair care products that I wanted to share with you because I spent so much of November in Morocco and traveling. Yeah, my favorites for this past month or my recent favorites are uh, quite different from, from my normal uh, favorites videos. So I wanted to share with you two mists that I uh, have been using kind of like nonstop this month. So my skin has just been incredibly dry. Um, I think it's drier than usual because of the seasons, but also because of the heat. Nothing new there, but I just feel really, really, really parched, really parched lately. So I had gotten into the habit of spraying the May Lindstrom Jasmine Garden Mist, and I have to admit, I kind of fell out of that habit. I'm gonna do it right now, actually. But this is one of the best hydrating mists I've ever used. It's so soothing. Um, it smells much like her um, like Honey Mud Mask. It has that kind of like cocoa scent. It just, it's so sensorial. Like it feels great. It smells great. It's, it's just wonderful. The bottle is beautiful to look at. So that is a, a mist that I was using a lot. I kind of took a break and I'm back at it because my skin just, oh, it just loves it. It just like drinks it up. Um, so I try and like spray my face a couple times a day just to kind of keep it hydrated. I definitely like to spray it as soon as I wake up in the morning because I do feel like, not that I have a heat duct like pointing at me, but it feels that way at night. Like when I wake up, I'm like, <gasps> like I need water. I spray my face, like all the things. Um, and then when I went on my trip, when I went to Morocco, I was like, I really want a face mist for the plane, just in general. And I didn't want to bring the Jasmine Garden one because it's fairly large. And I'm like, I just didn't need anything that big. And I knew I had other face mists. So I grabbed this one from um, True Botanicals. It's called the Nutrient Mist Calm. This one was so great. And I was with, you know, my best friend, Jen, her very good friend, Veronica. And every time I pulled it out, I was like, you guys want, and I would just like spray everyone <laughs> and spray myself. It is, I'm actually surprised that I didn't finish it up because I felt like I was just constantly spritzing myself um, like on the plane and I took four flights to get home I took three flights to get there so I was I was doing a lot of uh, spritzing if you will so this is really wonderful and it does feel very very calming um, there was one day that we went out to the beach uh, in Morocco and you know it, we got there pretty late and I didn't really you know, hang out in the sun for too long. I was under the umbrella, but I got a little bit of sun more than I generally do. So my skin just felt a little bit more raw than usual. And so I was like kind of spraying this madly the next day. And yeah, it just really calmed my skin down. And I think it really just helped any sort of exposure that I had. Loving mists in general. This one is great. This one is fantastic. So highly recommend. I highly recommend using a mist. I know that's not a sensation that everyone loves, just like stuff spraying onto their face, but it really, I feel like it really helps my skin. It really helps keep it like plump and juicy. And then I was actually testing out a bunch of stuff while I was there. I was testing out an SPF, which I still can't talk about. I apologize. It is incredible. Um, but I was also testing out shampoo and conditioner. So I actually did a collaboration with Shu Umura and it ended up being an Instagram reels. I don't know if you guys caught that. Anyway, because of the timing, I had to bring this to Morocco to continue testing it out. But I did use it before I left and I did use it after I came back. Um, and this is their Moroto Volume Shampoo and then this is the conditioner. And it is meant for fine hair, hair that needs a little bit of body, which mine does. My hair isn't necessarily fine, you can probably tell it's actually pretty, it used to be a lot more coarse. I would say it's pretty average now, um, but I do need some volume and these are great. These have both been really, really great. And um, I even use this Morota Volume Hydro Texturizing Mist Spray. This gives me like some lift at the roots. I don't use this every day just because I'm lazy, but when I use it, I, it's not like I regret it or anything. It's really, really wonderful. So. All of these products have helped. I think it's really tricky when it comes to fine hair and your volumizing product. I feel like sometimes um, products just automatically add like a little bit of grit. I don't like that. Um, or it makes your hair like just dry and kind of like fly away. And that's like their version of body. I obviously don't like that either. These products just somehow like miraculously makes my hair just feel like a little bit thicker and just has like a little bit more body. Nothing crazy, as you can see, it's not like it looks like I have extensions in or anything. It just keeps my hair from looking too like uber flat. So I've really been appreciating these hair care products and this is not sponsored at all. The sponsored work I did for them was on Instagram, like I mentioned, it was like a couple weeks ago, 
a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, really, really enjoy these hair care products. And as you guys are aware, I get a lot of PR. And so sometimes if I, you know, if I really am trying to get through my products, I start to use them at least creatively for me. It's probably not that creative for you. Um, but I have a lot of different body oils or bath oils. And like if I'm using them just like in the on my body, you know, in the shower or even when I take a bath, I just don't use that much of it. So it takes a long time for me to get through it. And I wish I could remember, I don't know if it was a YouTuber or a friend of mine or maybe something, something I just saw like on TV, I don't even know. Um, but someone was talking about how they love to just put a little bit of oil into their hands and then just at night and then just massage their feet with it. I'll take like an aromatic kind of oil and not a ton, but just like enough that my hands are kind of like slippy. And then I just sit there and I just massage my feet and it does so many things. Obviously it's like good for your circulation. There's like acupressure points down there, but I'm also moisturizing my feet. They're very, very dry here in Vegas. And I get to like use up some of this oil. So I've been loving this um, Suzanne Kaufman. This is the oil bath for the senses. I just use uh, some of this. I'll basically grab like whatever oil um, I have laying around. I have this absolute anti-aging Uma oil. I just use this the other night. I just used like a couple dabs. Um, but yeah, I'll pretty much like grab any kind of um, oil that I have, any kind of like body oil that I have uh, laying around. I'll link some down below, some of my favorites down below, um, but they're probably out on my nightstand. I have this um, Suzanne Kaufman ginger body oil. This one I just got. I love, love, love ginger. So this is really, really great. It's just Oh, it smells so great. And then I have this little um, tester from May Lindstrom. It's the Happy Galaxy. I'll use this sometimes. It's become like a really, really like nice, relaxing ritual in the evenings. So yeah, I've been loving that. I really love, if you guys are into like foot massage, let me know if there's like particular like um, acupressure points that you um, really love to like get in on. <laughs> <laughs> but I love just kind of going around like the balls of my feet. I just, oh, I can sit there and just kind of like rub around the balls of my feet like all night. It just feels so, so good. So that is also like a favorite, well, a favorite ritual and some favorite products I wanted to share with you. So I didn't bring any oil to Morocco. So I really like missed out on doing that every night. Uh, which is okay because I was actually exhausted every day. We just would like pass out at night. It's one of those things I really looked forward to doing when I got home. And just the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys, I have followed up a couple times uh, regarding this product, which, you know, I hauled many moons ago at this point. But it is my Ramoa luggage. So I have the hybrid version. This is the carry-on size. And then I have the check-in size in size medium. And I just love this luggage. Now you can see it's pretty beat up. It's, you know, been to a few places with me. Um, my husband actually just used it on uh, a business trip, but it's just, it's so smooth. And I remember when I got, yeah, when I hauled these, a few of you mentioned that you love your luggage as well, but that the wheels, they're almost like too smooth that if you're not careful, they just roll away. Um, so whenever I feel like I need to use my hands or I can't hold on to the luggage, I just put my feet around it and I just hold it in place and it's never been a problem for me. So I got the hybrid version because um, I didn't want their classic because it was heavier. I wanted luggage that I was, you know, I could like manage very, very easily that I could put up and pull down from, you know, like uh, where you store your luggage on a plane. I really wanted like luggage that was fairly light. So this has like the aluminum like corners here, but this is like a polycarbonate of some sort, but it's not uh, the metal, which I think their classic luggage is. And then what I was really not sure about was their classic and their hybrid ones, I think, their other lines may have it too. The closures are just these like clasps. So that's, these are the only two, there's two, there's one down here. That's all that keeps us closed and it makes it waterproof. And, uh, and so there's no zipper. And I thought, uh, am I gonna like that? Because I know like so often I'll like open the zipper part way and then like shove something in and then like close it. Um, I don't miss the zipper at all. And in fact, I've always hated, you know, you have the two, the two zippers, 
you know, and you never know where they end up. And it just, I don't know, it just makes me crazy, like looking for the zipper um, or things getting stuck in the zipper. Yeah, I just have fallen in love with these clasps. I'm like, oh wow, I never want luggage ever again with a zipper. So I have been really loving this luggage and it's, yeah, it's just so easy to use. It's light, it's super simple on the inside. So, but, oh my God, this still, this still smells like cloves. <laughs> From Morocco I should maybe leave this open um, so both sides are exactly the same and it just has this one flap and what's cool is so this flap has these straps that run along the bottom and then the other side is over here so what happens is when you pack up your bag you put this flap on top and then you pull this and so this like squishes everything down and then you just velcro it shut like that it is so convenient and I love how simple, 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 simple this luggage is. There's a ton of pockets. I'm not gonna lose anything. I'm not gonna be able to not find something. Like it's just really easy. I put my dirty garments in this little bag and that's it. So anyway, I just wanted to mention this luggage to you. It's just, it's so good. And I'm so glad I invested in these because I'm doing more traveling. I'm sure, I'm sure many of us are. Um, I'm doing more traveling and yeah, I just I really needed luggage that I loved. I was using some Briggs and Riley luggage, which I was really fond of. I really really liked that luggage But it's like once I got this luggage I was like we should just sell those or get rid of them or, or donate them or whatever because I'm never going back I'm never going back. So yes, so I wanted to mention my Ramoa luggage as some of my favorites uh, recent favorites since uh, we really bonded we really, really bonded when we went to Morocco. Spent a lot of time together. Well, that is it for today's Mishmas vlog. Uh, definitely check down below in my description box for giveaway on the little mare stuff. And that's it. I will see you in tomorrow's Mishmas video. 